Never again. Well, it did happen again. Six months ago to this day, the terrorists of Hamas launched their savage and evil assault against Israel, and it will happen again if Hamas is not destroyed. Mike Pompeo, former Secretary of State, Director of the CIA, and Fox News contributor joins us now. Mr. Secretary, good to see you. Great to be with you, Eric. Thank you. What do you make of the Israelis withdrawing from southern Gaza? Do you think this uh, retreat is uh, what John Kirby says it is, rest and refit, or is it because of pressure from the Democrats and President Biden? Well, Eric, I, I don't know the answer to that. I don't know why the Israeli leadership made this decision. They'll, they'll, have, a, they'll have a reason. But I, I, can, I can assure everyone watching this, this is not over. What happened on October 7th was indeed brutal and barbaric, and as you described it, evil. And Hamas and the infrastructure surrounding it have to be entirely decimated to prevent this from happening again. You know, the Hamas leaders are still running around in the tunnels. They've promised to do October 7th after October 7th after October 7th. And so tactical decisions about troop deployments are for the Israeli government to make. make. And I regret, Eric, I regret that the Biden administration is speaking out of both sides of their mouth while they say they're supporting Israel. All of the pressure that they're applying today, talking about weapons and conditionalization and all of these things, and saying you have to fight this in a way that is more decent and uh, protects civilians more, uh, that is putting pressure on the Israelis and not on Hamas, and that reduces the chance that these hostages will ever come home. And the fact that President Biden refuses to talk about the fact there's still Americans being held there by Iran, by Hamas, is indecent. And the policy that the Biden administration has developed has become so unhinged with Secretary Blinken talking about moral equivalence between Israel and Hamas. I, I just it's incomprehensible to me, Eric. And then, uh, Secretary, you have uh, the letter from the Democrats, some Democrats, including Nancy Pelosi, uh, saying there should be a immediate uh, ending of the uh, weapons transfer pending an investigation of that horrible mistake, of course, the attack on the uh, uh, on the aid workers. What does that do? to Israel. What happens if the arms are ended and our support ends, as some of the Democrats are calling for? Well, this would make it much more difficult for Israel to prosecute what is not only necessary for them, but important to us, Eric. We, we can't forget, America has a deep interest in the destruction of Hamas. We shouldn't think for a second that the Iranian regime that is training, funding them, uh, giving them the capacity that they have today to wreak their terror, is trying to kill Americans, even as we sit here. And so to say, well, we're just going to cut off weapon systems for Israel is dangerous, not only for Israel, but the Gulf Arab states and the United States as well. I, I pray that America won't make that tragic decision. I think, I think Nancy Pelosi and some of the Democrats are playing pure domestic politics on this. And our support for Israel should be unequivocal. They'll fight this war the right, right way. These tragedies that happen in wartime are devastating and heartbreaking to see. We shouldn't forget the Biden administration killed 10 innocents as they were trying to get after the folks who'd killed the Americans in Afghanistan. Shoot, the Biden administration never even apologized or accepted responsibility, as the Israelis have. We have to continue to make sure we understand this is evil. We are good. Israel is good. And we need to make sure that that certainty around who's on which side, who the white hats are here, is very clear in U.S. policy. Do you think those calls, do they help Hamas, do they give a propaganda victory to the Islamic radical terrorists? Uh, here's the Prime Minister Netanyahu talking about the international community and that very topic. Israel is prepared for a deal. Israel is not prepared to surrender. Instead of the international pressure being directed at Israel, which is only causing Hamas to harden its positions, the pressure of the international community needs to be directed at Hamas. Yeah, do you think that there has been a, a sense of reaching out to Hamas that in some, you talk about the moral equivalence, uh, they give Hamas the break and not Israel? Eric, 100 percent. Every time President Biden talks about putting pressure on Israel, every time he castigates the Israeli government, every time the international community, a fellow like at the U.N., a fellow named Martin Griffiths put out the statement yesterday that was just mind-bogglingly naive uh, and anti-Semitic at its core, uh, every, every time that happens, these leaders, Sinwar and the other Hamas leaders, are encouraged. The Iranian regime is encouraged. And every time the United States says, oh, please, just please stop. If you Houthis will stop, we'll de-designate you as terrorists. If you'll stop taking ships off the Red Sea. Every one of those actions is reverberates inside of the decision-making process for the world's largest state sponsor of terror in Iran. And you talk about Iran, finally, Israel right now bracing for a potential Iranian attack. You know firsthand. 
the evil of that regime, uh, assassinations, uh, using uh, uh, their diplomatic corps to kill opponents and other uh, uh, people. Of course, you got the uh, bombing of the embassy in 1992 in Buenos Aires, the Israeli embassy. What about that? What do you expect from Iran, and what does the U.S. do concerning that? Yeah, so Eric, I don't know what tactical decision they made. Clearly, there's some intelligence indicating that there's going to be a strike. But we shouldn't forget, since October 7th, there have been over 100 attacks on American interests. Forget Israelis for a moment, on American interests in the Middle East. So the Iranians, this is not new, to think, oh, goodness, the Iranians are now going to take a strike. The, the Iranians, through Hezbollah, through the Houthis in Yemen, and, of course, through Hamas as well, have been active in the region since October 7th. I suspect that will continue until the United States actually imposes real costs on the Iranian regime. Former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, who knows firsthand uh, the uh, I issue with Iran and the threat that the mullahs in Tehran pose to international peace and security, as well as our ally Israel. Mr. Secretary, thank you. Thank you, Eric. Have a great day. You too. Arthel?